Although this is not a spring chicken, yes, you're seeing one of those things that you don't normally see. This is probably going to be the one of the last days we're here at the game. So of course, the big news today is President Obama accuses Fox News of working for the yeah Romney campaign. Can you believe that? Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of. Okay, Obama accuses Fox News of being in the camp. Oh, actually, working on the Romney campaign. I know. They said that was uh, basically it was the wrong thing to say, and everyone in the press knew it was the wrong thing to say because his press conference ended immediately when the people from the press wanted to know his source of information, and he uh, refused to speak any further because they, uh, they know that Fox News is in the tank for him. I know. Oh, it is obvious. I mean, there's only one person now with Fox News that's anti-Obama, and that's Sean Hannity. I can guarantee you the man is not as anti-Obama as he says he is, because he won't even talk to anybody that I know of that can tell you what Obama's game plan is. Mm -hmm. Which means he's, he's working for Obama also. Because um, they said, one of the people said, that Rupert Murdoch should have been arrested right now. And this is not being arrested. That Obama shielding him over here in return for uh, Fox playing a bad cop for him another time. Mm. Just because you happen to be leading the Republican polls and you're black is no reason why you can't be thrown under the bus. Okay, uh, the same people that don't, didn't like Sarah Palin, didn't like Michelle Bachman, don't like women candidates, uh, don't like Herman uh, uh, Cain, not because he's black. He doesn't agree with uh, you know uh, their principles, which is means he's not the uh, uh, the main trade Republicans do not like him whatsoever. Well, see, here's part of it is is as far as an order, he was a preacher, right? Yeah, a gospel singer. Gospel singer. He would have won on those. Um, he would have gotten some of the black vote or African American they vote. Could take, okay, they're figuring Obama will get 10 to 15 percent of the black vote maximum. <laughs> Estimation is 30% to start with pain because it's just whether people believe in it. Okay, here it works. When you, once you become a middle class Afro American, you tend to drift away from the Democratic Party. Uh. That's just they, what they will do if they don't like the Republican candidate, they just sat on their hands. But they voted heavily for Ronald Reagan, they voted for George Bush, they voted for Reagan, they voted for George Bush Sr. Mm -hmm. But then they have con they've continually dropped backwards since that first election was seen. They don't, they don't, their people aren't voting because they're not getting anything that they need, which is small, a lot of small black businesses and a small business community being shafted by everybody in Yeah, surprise, surprise, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and, oh, yes, and he's not the only one being thrown under the bus either. The pot growers are learning in California, oh. well... <laughs> Obama, who is their big savior, we're not going to arrest them because, uh, you know, they're not harming anybody, they're performing a service. Well, he started cracking down on them and shutting them down to the and is wanting back income taxes. What happens is that when you're illegally selling drugs, they hit you for the taxes of uh, the full market price, not what they were selling for. A market price could be, you know, a uh, hundred dollars or a which means you could actually be charged more in taxes than you actually paid for the substance. That's right. Mm -hmm. And China's debt pile up raises risk of hard landing. Well, yeah, because China's basically, China as government is paying everything based upon what they're doing. They're printing money. They have no assets. We're supposedly, we have gold to back it up. China has nothing to back it up. And they got an inflation rate that is massive. So sooner or later, okay. Um, here's the trick is, China is a massive country, they produce more, they produce 10 times more cars than we do a year. They're only selling 150, uh, 1,500 new cars a week in China because of the fact no one can afford to buy them now since they're very wealthy because the inflation is so bad. And Yang Aizhou who buy out with private equity. Yeah. Uh, he's looking to have people, basically, he's trying to, he's trying to get one up on Google. He has like seven new channels where they get they're, they're doing video programming, and he figures that that's where the money's going to come in on the search engine anymore, because the search engine basically has been surpassed by um, 
Google. Google isn't making money off the search engine. Google makes money off the advertising they sell. They, they put, they give you a place for the money. So, uh, with uh, gang and basic, you know, like a band of the Oh my gosh, yeah. Yang and Yang and the other uh, uh, the two people that are in control only own um, eight percent of the Oh that's it? Yes. Yeah. Oh I thought they owned more than that. Yang basically sold his stock to the stock. Um so but he, he, he if he wants to take it private he has a cookie back. And R I M well, let's see, outage hits North America, but it's back on track. Well they're apologizing to people there was a company that was failing, and they now they just um, uh, they think the problem was the fact is that they just don't have the money to keep it operational. They're losing, it's bleeding money. Oh, is it? Yeah. So, well, the problem is, is that uh, the people like the BlackBerry for its email uh, usage, but the, problem is that the people were not buying new Blackberries. They weren't buying new Blackberries, and therefore weren't. It's what killed the, uh, the Apple computer was that people like me stuck with the computer they had and didn't buy new ones. Oh. So BlackBerry has been suffering horribly. Well, you know, I think BlackBerry got hit by, well, two things. One is, I, I would say, the iPhone and the smartphone. And the tablet. One, oh, and the tablet. Yeah. So, and if I, uh, oh, oh. I, here's another big piece of news. It looks like uh, Mac Whitman has decided not to sell the computer, not to get rid of the computer division after all, because somebody, you know, like they said this morning, she said, you see, we're a 60, we're a 60 billion dollar a year company, and 50 billion dollars of it comes out of the computer division, and we bought a company for 20 million dollars, we supply people that have PCs, and nobody wants to purchase the PC division, so we, if they don't sell PCs, they don't, uh, mm -hmm. they have no one to sell the product. You mean Meg Whitman can add? Yeah, well, you know, not enough to get her to the governorship of California. Uh, people are now regretting. Now they're really wishing she would have been the governor. they found out that, gee whiz, Jerry Brown is exactly like Jerry Brown used to be. Yeah, surprise, surprise. What did they think a liberal Democrat was going to do but raise taxes? <laughs> And Berlin and Paris vow new crisis plan as global pressure builds. The, okay, their plan is we're going to wait for the to come up with a plan. And the market just went crazy on that news. I mean, the market on that news this week has went up 1,200 points in six sessions on the news that there is no plan to save the, save Europe whatsoever. Really? They're going to come up with a plan before the G20. But they have to borrow two trillion dollars in order to make it work. It's already been proposed by Slovenia, and Slovenia voted it down. They said we're not going to contribute the saving of Greece, Italy, and all these countries because they're they're all countries on the verge of being located. And I know it's an active day here. Well, that's how they do. That's how they patrol the beach now. Man it with a couple different, yeah, lifeguards or yeah. three lifeguards. An Egyptian cabinet to meet over violence that kills 24. Yeah, but uh, they said what's going to happen is that their parliamentary procedures are going to continue and they're going to put the, uh, the, uh, the Muslim extremists are going to be in control of the parliament. They said you can thank the president. That's why Obama is basically getting tough with them. We, we made, you know, we made our missiles into Iraq, into Iran now because he's, he screwed up every country that he's done this with is, is becoming a center of modern activity now. Oh, so now you can do it to Iran too. Yeah. Wow, imagine that corollary. Yeah, but I also he thinks because Hillary is much t would be much tougher than he is, he's trying to stop the Hillary campaign before it gets started, but I hate to tell him this, it's already started. I'll, I'll kill Clinton everywhere. Since he's not rehabilitating his image, when he's 
going on talk shows like he did when he was running. He played a saxophone. When he's joining in with the band, he's going out to the audience. Well, part of it is people really like Bill. Yeah. And they figure, well, if you elect Hillary, you get Bill. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like Bill for president. They, they talk and Hillary's the figurehead. Oh, is he yeah. pulling a Putin? They're looking at, I mean, the rumors are they're looking at a, this time a co-presidency with her as president and him as vice president. Uh, because if anything happened to her, he could legitimately serve another term. Yeah, president. he really could. Right. Yep. And it, 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 it says that you can only be elected twice. Ah. You know, and I think people would actually go for that one. Yeah, that's what they think is in the bank. Egyptian cabinet to meet over violence that kills 24. Yeah, I know. Oh. Yeah, well, you know, you I get excited about Clinton. Yeah, we, we read the same thing twice. An anti-Wall Street protest by time and talk shows? Crackle! Yeah, I mean, okay, they're getting this idea, okay. Almost all of their supporters are millionaires and billionaires, none of whom are volunteering to have their taxes. One wow. of their supporters even made certain everything he had was put into trust two years ago, so it couldn't be taxed. So he comes out and says, tax the wealthy. He'd already made certain he couldn't be taxed and refused to talk about it. Mm -hmm. And a Monty Bubble is from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. 